some of the lads just seem to be wasting away in front of me. I don't know if other people are noticing it. And I'm not going to mention any names. Some of the lads that don't have much to lose are getting really thin. After a few days with barely anything to eat, the men are now getting desperate. Give me a start, I'm going to chuck at them. No, I'm going to kill one. Dean, wait. Be stealthy. Chuck it, chuck it! What happened? I slipped as I threw it. I think it broke my hand. Oof. Really? Mm. 21-year-old Ryan lives in Stockport with his mum and sister. Going to the island will be the first time I've lived anywhere else other than, other than Stockport. Um, I'm excited to see a different type of life, and I think it could make a man of me. I did walk really far once with no shoes on, and that was very challenging. I'll be honest, I punched the sand. Oh, no. <laughs> it was a lot harder than I was expecting. Oh, no. And do that, it looks like it's down here, doesn't it? Dr Sam confirms Ryan's suspicions of a broken knuckle. So this is called a boxer's fracture. Yeah. Do, do it, punch the sand again. Yeah. It hurts I think, there, I think, I'm it? just so annoyed at myself, cos... Were you annoyed with the sand as well? I was annoyed with myself. So you punched the sand? Yeah. Well, I don't um, want to punch myself in a survival no, situation. No, no but... idea. That's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> After a broken hand and another missed meal... I just want food. <laughs> ..the consequences of the men's failures are becoming more and more apparent. Some of the lads just seem to be wasting away in front of me. I don't know if other people are noticing it. And I'm not going to mention any names. Some of the lads that don't have much to lose... I... They're getting really thin. We're 13 strapping blokes. We're going to need a feed. And um, at the moment, wondering where that's going to come from. So I think we're going to have to, you know, man up, get those machetes out, uh, head inland, and just answer the question that really is troubling us all at the moment, which is where is the real food? The next few days will be critical, as the men use their last reserves of energy to try and hunt down the island's meatiest prey. So we're going to head down to the mangroves and see if we can see a caiman. I just saw a massive iguana head upland that way. Whatever it takes to find this food. Oh, I know. This is our first night excursion. We're we'll entering new territory. There's some funky noises happening tonight. Humans. You can see some? No, but I'm sure we will. These look like limes. Look, there's more. Right, fingers crossed for a good old harvest of fish. Yeah. Feeling just <laughs> failure after failure. <laughs> well, I mean, you guys look knackered. <laughs> no caiman. No. With nothing to show for days of energy sapping hunting, the men are on the brink. Food is a lot scarcer than we had anticipated. Um, that's going to slightly test our spirits, but then we, we always knew it wasn't going to be holiday. You know, we're not, not asking for the moon on a stick, we're just asking for fish each, or half a fish each. You know, that's, that's all we need. It's been bloody tough for me. It's been really hard. Uh, no energy whatsoever. You need to my mind about uh, leaving the island. 
so far, every attempt the men have made to catch fish with their nets has ended in failure. You think our luck's changed? Today? Yeah. Time will tell, mate. I've known about ten minutes, but um, I desperately hope so, mate. This time, to improve their chances of a catch, they've left the nets out all night. Wow. Did he get away, lads? Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, we've got a net full, mate. You're joking. Oh, do a pull him out, pull him out. Look at that. Oh, wow. Woo! Look at these oh, bad boys. Oh, Whoa! Fish! Team Gilnet. Beauty little catfish. Oh, nice. Look at that. Plenty on him. He'll get out, mate. <laughs> mate. Oh, I'm going to have a full belly tonight on fish. That's cheered everybody up, hasn't it? Yay! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good for fish. Absolutely good for fish. Oh, that's great. We're going to be eating fish for dinner tonight. Flipping great. So relieved. I'm so relieved. The mood of the camp is just lifted. salted it, a little bit of lemon juice on it, nice salted lemon juice on there. We're going to wrap them up. After days of desperation and hunger, the men can finally eat. Oh, hello. So this is the fish, parceled up, expertly by Fletch. So if you just take them up, eh? That looks nice. That looks the part, mate. Oh. That's a really weird texture. It just like, disappears into a kind of mush, doesn't it? Oh. Ugh. Ugh. That was possibly the worst fish I've ever tasted in my life. It doesn't taste right for some reason. I think it's rotten. <laughs> it's because we didn't drop the guts out quick enough. Oh, man. Left dead in the nets for too long, the fish have started to decompose, and the long-awaited supper is inedible. So disappointed. Gutted. Tastes like poo. It's a poo fish. I think you hit the nail on the head there. It does taste like poo.